What's up you guys, Jason Wardrop here and today I'm gonna to show you how to get your first 1,000 mini chat subscribers to go through and build your business. Okay, if we take a look at this right here guys, over the last month or so, we have had a massive steady incline. We've almost tripled in the last 30 days. So I wanna show you guys how to get your first 1,000 subscribers and these are a lot of free techniques of just going through and leveraging the Facebook algorithm and also mini chat, which if you guys missed yesterday's video of how to go through set up mini chat and all that stuff, make sure you guys go back and watch that because I walk you through how to get started with this Facebook Messenger bot 100% free. So you guys can see even just the last couple of days, I've implemented some new strategy and tactics, which I'll share with you guys here a little bit later. And we've increased, we've gone from 1,086 to almost, we've increased almost 200 in the last couple of days, all right? So first and foremost, the first thing that we wanna do guys is we wanna go through and over to our Facebook page, cause this works best with your Facebook page, is go through and do Facebook Live videos. All right, so you guys see this right here. I've just got this up on my screen. This is my calendar of my Facebook Live videos. So you guys can see on the Sunday, so the 22nd, 29th, 5th, all that stuff, it says value and then email. That is me going and sending value to my email list, whether it's a blog post, a video, or whatever that might be. And then on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm going through and I'm publishing, I'm doing Facebook Lives to go through and build my mini chat subscriber base. So you can see there on the 23rd, I'm showing people how to get listing leads. On Wednesday, I do kind of like these little done for you promos. I do these giveaways and stuff like that. So on Wednesday saying, hey, let our team set up a, a listing leads campaign for you. And on Friday, I'm gonna go through and give away another training, another bonus. So that one's all focused around our CRM secrets. And then you can see the next week, next Monday, I go through the buyer leads. I go through and show the how, how to do that. Wednesday, another giveaway. Hey, we're gonna do e emails for you. And then on Friday, here's your seller leads campaign. So you guys can see every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm doing a Facebook Live. And with that, I wanna show you guys exactly how the Facebook Live post is set up and why I do Facebook Lives as opposed to any other post. Okay, so first and foremost, the reason why I go through and I do a Facebook Live is because Facebook's algorithm, it just gives more juice, it gives more exposure to Facebook Live. So if you guys have followed people and you've seen them go live, it's gonna go through and give you a notification up here in the top right, or it's gonna have a notification pop up down here in the bottom left saying, hey, this person is live. If you're on Facebook right then and there, They'll go through and say, hey, this person's live, and then it'll get you, you know, more people to go click on that and get more exposure to your post. As well as if you go and you jump on Facebook later, they're gonna give you guys a notification saying, hey, you know, Jason Wardrop was live, you should check out his post. Now, if we scroll down, I wanna show you guys really quick what these actual Facebook posts, as these Facebook lives look like, and what I did to go through and maximize my organic reach using Facebook's algorithm to my advantage. So we look here, right here, these are my videos. I'm just gonna click see all. All right, so you guys can see some of these last ones. See this one, who wants my buyer leads for under $5? 2.4 thousand views, that was all organic. Brand new listing leads training, 2.2 thousand, 1.7 thousand. So I've got all these different ones. So I'm just gonna pop up a couple of these. And they all follow the same exact structure, the same format. You guys can see here, they're only a minute to two minutes long. They're very short videos, but they get the point across. They get maximum exposure. And then I'm inviting people to like and comment on the videos. So I'm getting a much broader reach on all these videos. Okay, so if you guys see right here, this has 2.2 thousand views. It's got 70, 72 likes and um, let's see, I don't even know how many comments on this. Most recent comments. I can't, I can't really find out where the, the link is, but guys, look at this. See all of these comments right here? See, so what I said basically at the top is, hey, brand new listing leads step-by-step -step campaign set up, one to $3 leads on average, comment I'm in below and like this video, and I'll share it with you, okay? So I've got 72 likes, and then you guys could just see here all of these different comments going through and commenting, okay? And you guys can see here right below, I don't have any response, which I actually updated that, and I've been able to get more exposure when I've gone through and done this little technique. Okay, so this one right here, this is one. This is a really good one I wanna show you guys. It's got 2.4 thousand views. You can see, I think I threw about five bucks to, or towards this, towards the end of its lifetime, but I got 117 likes, and then I don't even know, but look at all of these comments right here. Okay, tons and tons and tons of comments. So what I did here what was a little bit different. I said, who wants my buyer leads for under $5? If you don't have listings, like this video and comment me and I'll shoot you over my buyer leads blueprint. And so I went through and every time somebody said, hey, I'd like more info or, or I, I'm in or send it to me or whatever, I would go through and comment 
and that would add double the comments and so it would go through and maximize my exposure that much more with Facebook's algorithm. Okay guys, so I know this isn't really getting into mini chat quite yet and how we're going through and increasing our subscribers, but all of this is key as we're going through and building our subscriber base in mini chat. All right, so because there's an option where anybody that comments on your post you can send them an automated response so that you don't have to go through an individual message every single person. It just automatically gets sent. And so right here it says, who wants my buyer leads for under $5 even if you don't have a listing? Like this video and comment me and I'll shoot over my buyer leads blueprint. Okay, so now when they go and comment me, you can see right here it says, see response because I sent an automated response to them with the link to go through and show them the training. And that's kind of like them opting into my email list but it's opting into my mini chat subscriber list. So now in the future, kind of like with my email list where if I have a new promo, I have something that I want people to see, I can blast out an email. Well with this, I can blast out a Facebook message and they're gonna get a notification up here in Facebook Messenger letting them know about my new video, my new blog post, my new promotion, whatever it is, and they can I can have more people knowing about what's going on. And the cool thing is, these Facebook Messenger messages they get like a 90 to 95% open rate and the click-through rates are through the roof compared to email where you're only gonna see about 20 to 25% open rates and that's on a high end and a very, very, very low click-through rate. Okay, so let's jump over here into uh, mini chat and this one is exactly the same type of structure, guys. As What's you guys, up, guys can see here, hey, do you want my drip email campaigns? And I say like this video, comment me below. And you see I got six, 86 comments or 86 likes, 1.7 thousand views and I'm getting tons and tons of likes. You can see I did this strategy as well. I'm saying, hey, I PM'd you, sent, sent the, the link or whatever. And so I'm getting those double comments. Okay, so now if we come over here to mini chat, you can see we've got this main, on our main dashboard, we can see how many subscribers we have. But if we go over here to growth tools, this is to go through and grow that subscriber base. All right, so what I like to do is come over here to new growth tool. And then I'm gonna come down here to the Facebook comments. Okay, so anyone that comments on your Facebook post, you can send an automated instant Facebook message saying, hey, by the way, here's the link to whatever you just wanted. And then that instantly will go through and create that conversation. But the key thing here that we need to know is that that person actually has to respond to your message in order for them to be added to your list. So I'll show you guys really quick what I like to do in order to get more people actually responding to me. And so what I like to do is click on Facebook comments right here. And then we'll just give this a name. So we'll say test demo or something like that. Okay, so now what we go through here and do is we select a post from our Facebook page and we can enter the Facebook URL or we can just select a post, right? Okay, so this is a post that I just barely went through and posted just earlier today. We've got a new promo that's closing down. Um, so I can say, you know, I confirm that this is mine, this, this is all good. And I like to, you can say track first level comments only. And what that means is if um, somebody comes in here and responds to, let's say, Derek right here, it wouldn't, if you're only tracking first level comments, then it wouldn't send them an automated message. All right, so typically I just kind of leave that there. I don't really do anything. And then I do immediately. So most people will know it's a bot, which is totally fine. It's at least delivering the information. It's getting them what they're wanting. And as far as exclude comments with these keywords or only trigger for comments with these keywords, I just leave that blank. So basically how I come over here and say, um, where is it? Say, you know, comment me and I'll shoot it over to you. Well, you can go in, th in here and say, hey, only trigger for comments of people saying me. But if you look at this, a lot of times people say something else, like I would like more info, please, or yes, I would like to know more. And so they're not commenting me. And so it's like, that's not really gonna send it to them. So I don't wanna go in there and manually send all of these messages because I'm getting like tons and tons and tons of messages here. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is click next right here at this point. And then right here, this is the automated response. Okay, so I like to say, hey, and then I usually do first name. So, cause I mean, most people aren't gonna use their full name. Hey, Jason Wardrop, that just sounds weird. And it's, it doesn't really sound supernatural. So what then I do is come in here and if I'm like giving them some content, whether it's like a download or a link to a train or whatever it is, I say, here you go, or here's the link or whatever. Come down here and say, if you don't mind, oh, just message me back and say, got it just so I know the message went through. Okay, so that's basically where I say like, just make message got it or something like that, just so I know that I held up my end of the deal because obviously I was promising you something on the Facebook Live, I wanna make sure you got it. So I'd like to keep it just short and simple because if you make it a super long message, 
then people aren't going to really read it and it is just going to kind of go by the wayside. But if you just go in here, hey, um, hey, Jason, here you go. Here's the link. Um, if you don't mind, just message me back and say, got it, just so I know the message went through. Now, obviously, not every single person is going to message back and say, got it. But a lot of times, I'd say a majority of the people are going to say, got it, or thank you, or give me a thumbs up, or something like that. And just by them responding like that, that adds them to my subscriber list, right? So now we just come down here, we just hit next. And then you can say, hey, I want to also send an opt-in message to make sure they like opt-in and it get, lets them know, hey, if you ever want someone to subscribe, just hit stop. I usually do hit don't send the opt-in message just because like, you know, if they're opting in, like they're wanting it, right? And if they want to unsubscribe at a later date, I just tell them how to unsubscribe and it's, you know, it's no worries. So then what well, I'm going to do is say save and activate right here. And this is just a test. I'm not worried about this because it's probably not going to get a ton, ton of comments. So now if we come over here to the growth tools, we can see this test demo. You can see how many impressions, opt-ins, conversions, opened, and clicked on. All right, so you can come down here and I can see my stats. So like I can actually see which ones are the hottest items, right? Like this one right here, buyer leads with no listings. People really love that. Like 103 people saw it and 58 people opted in. So that was a 56% conversion rate. So imagine that with your landing page or your website. If you had 100 people visiting that landing page, that means 58 people opted in. That is a super, super high conversion rate. Right, so right here with the open house, 49 and 24 opted in, 49%. So you can even test different products and offers and see what your market's really responding to because now I could probably go make a product or more stuff based off of buyer leads with no listings because I know that's a super hot item. All right, whereas with like foreclosure leads, my audience in particular, like only 17 people saw that, only three people opted in. So I know foreclosure leads, there's probably not a lot of investors that follow me, which is all good. I have no, no worries with that because I don't really like stress and, and market to investors. But I know, okay, I probably don't need to go through and build more products out focused on foreclosure leads. All right, guys, so I just really want to go back here and stress this kind of this calendar because if you have a good strategy of a schedule of when you're doing your Facebook Lives, when you're going to have different offerings and different people opting in and going through and having this this schedule of going through and saying, hey, for the next 30 days, these are the things I'm going to be offering. This is how I'm going to go through and grow my mini chat subscriber base. Um, it is a lot easier. So what I did, as you guys can see here, is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I would do a Facebook Live offering something, some free bonus training, email templates, some like type of download, something that they would want in exchange for them opting in and them commenting. And obviously, the more comments and likes you get, the more organic exposure. And then at the end of that, if you guys want to go through and boost it even more, you can throw five or ten bucks at it. And what I like to do there is just do an engagement post or an engagement ad. So I'm getting more likes and comments because that's really what's opting these people into my mini chat subscriber list. So you see here I did listing leads, buyer leads, open house leads, seller leads, listing leads again. I was just basically repeating it over again because I'm going to have new people that are following me and also because not everyone's going to see it right out of the gate, right? So different people are going to see it. And then right here I say, hey, we'll set up a listing leads campaign for you. Hey, we'll email for you. We'll do social posts for you. Hey, there's a three-month account giveaway to ArcelorMKG. Then I'm repeating back over. Same thing here. CRM secrets, seller leads. This is a different seller leads campaign over here. Foreclosure leads. And then a little software updates. I kind of was like stressing. I, I Not stressing, but I was kind of desperate for new content information right here, which I think I actually did not do that because I was driving down to Arizona for Thanksgiving. But anyway, so that is kind of the, the schedule of what I did. And then you can see every Thursday I'm running a webinar and Sundays I'm doing value promotional emails and then on Tuesday I'm doing like a live coaching session for all those people that are on my email list. Okay guys, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys of how to get your first 1,000 mini chat subscribers. If you guys just do this, if you stay consistent with it, doing three Facebook Lives a week, you're gonna get maximum exposure for free, that organic exposure, and you're gonna be able to go through, maximize that reach, more people commenting, all that stuff, more people opting in. And now you're going to have higher open rates and be able to go through and grow your business that much more. All right. And if you guys want to go through and check out yesterday's video, make sure you go back and check that out of how to go through and set up the whole mini chat, Facebook messenger um, bot and all that good stuff. Check out that video. And also, if you guys like today's video, make sure you like it and comment right down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know of things that you'd like to learn. And also subscribe to this channel if you guys liked the content and I will be releasing a new video every single day. And right below this video as well, there's gonna be a little bell right next to the subscribe, and that will send you notifications every time we launch a new video for you so you can go through and I can help you grow your business. Thanks guys so much for watching today. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you later.